two arrests on suspicion of spying for China prompt questions from British politicians. Xi Jinping personally directs measures to promote increased fertility for the first time. Embarrassed, Chinese embassy praises Chinese astronauts with a picture of an American astronaut. British politicians have raised concerns and sought answers following the revelation that two individuals, one employed as a researcher in Parliament, were arrested in March on suspicion of spying for China. The arrest of one of the alleged spies happened in March, as initially reported by the Sunday Times. The suspect's identity remained undisclosed at the time, but it was later revealed that he was a Westminster researcher in his late twenties. He held a parliamentary pass and had connections to several senior politicians. Security officials believed the researcher had been recruited as a sleeper agent while residing and working in China. According to the newspaper, he was sent back to the UK to infiltrate political networks critical of the Chinese regime. During a briefing with reporters on Monday, a spokesman for the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak questioned why he had not categorized China as a threat. Sunak's political party members were outraged over the incident, as some openly questioned why they first learned about the arrests from a newspaper report. Others argued that the spy allegation should prompt a tougher stance against China. Rishi Sunak said that he had discussed the matter with China's premier Li Tiang during the G20 summit in India on Sunday. He expressed his very strong concerns about any interference in our parliamentary democracy, which is obviously unacceptable. For its part, China denies the allegations and called the charges fabricated. The British law firm representing the parliamentary researcher quoted him as saying, "I am completely innocent." The rapidly declining and aging population has prompted the Chinese regime to implement measures to encourage people to have more children. Most recently, Xi Jinping personally took charge of the matter. Xinhua on September 8th reported that the regime's general secretary and chairman of the Central Military Commission, Xi Jinping, signed an order to implement measures to encourage soldiers to have more children. The measures take effect starting on September 10th. Accordingly, each couple is allowed to have a third child. In addition, military personnel will enjoy preferential leave when giving birth and are provided other incentives for the health and education of their children. The Chinese regime implemented the one-child policy in 1979 to achieve economic development goals. During decades of draconian enforcement of this policy, the Chinese regime is said to have killed 400 million children, including unborn children whose mothers were forced to have abortions. China's birth rate has fallen from 2.6 children per woman in the late 1980s to only 1.15 in 2021. The one-child policy reduced the number of births in China and led to bloody, violent protests in many places, including the 2007 incident in Bobai District, Jiangxi Province. At the time, people surrounded the town authorities due to dissatisfaction with family planning policies. In 1994, Tian Mingjian, deputy commander of the 12th Regiment, Third Division, in Beijing City. Was so upset because his wife died to a forced abortion that he shot and killed many officers and had a gunfight with many soldiers. In January this year, a report by the Chinese regime showed that in 2022, China's population grew negatively for the first time in nearly 61 years. China's National Bureau of Statistics said that at the end of 2022, China's population was over 1.4 billion. A decrease of 850,000 people compared to the end of 2021. China's population is rapidly decreasing. In addition to the decreasing birth rate, there have been many deaths due to COVID in China over the past three years. Recently, the Chinese embassy in France posted a message praising Chinese astronauts on the Twitter platform, but it was discovered that they used a photo of an American astronaut. Netizens have widely mocked this incident. According to Taiwan's Central News Agency, or CNA, the mentioned photo showed an astronaut in outer space with the Earth below. However, keen-eyed netizens noticed that the astronaut in the picture was not Chinese, but instead an American astronaut wearing a glove with the American flag. Netizens zoomed in on the flag and left numerous comments. Some netizens traced the photo's origin to NASA, the U.S.'s National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The person in the picture is astronaut Bruce McCandless, 
the first astronaut to fly freely in space without a tether. The photo was taken in 1984. Many netizens criticized the Chinese embassy in France for stealing NASA's photo. Former journalist Charles Smith wrote, This is truly a terrible post. His comment received more likes than the Chinese embassy's post. Some netizens responded to Smith's comment. They probably thought they were very clever and could deceive everyone. That's deceitful. Australian-born Chinese artist Ba Diu Kao reposted the image on Twitter, juxtaposing it with the close-up of the American astronaut's glove and the question, is this the Chinese flag? Luke de Pulford, the founder and executive director of the Interparliamentary Alliance on China, IPAC, also quoted the post and mocked that this was not a Chinese astronaut. Other netizens left messages such as, stealing, lying, and hypocrisy are the behaviors of the Chinese government. They are entirely unscrupulous deceivers, referring to the statement by China's ambassador to France, Lu Shagye, regarding the non-recognition of the sovereignty of former Soviet countries like Ukraine, which caused a stir. Some said, because they made thoughtless comments about the sovereignty of post-Soviet nations, it's not surprising they didn't bother to search for photos of those astronauts. Subsequently, the Chinese embassy in France deleted the post. 